In our final video for basic training, we're going to go over the developer options that are available to you use in Fliplet Studio. So if the components, appearance, and menu settings that we went over previously don't quite match what you're looking to complete, or you have experience with HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, definitely feel free to use the developer options from the right-hand toolbar over here on the bottom. When you open the dev options, you will see the options for the current app screen. So you see the CSS, HTML, and JavaScript over there. Uh, you can edit the HTML on the page or edit and add custom CSS or JavaScript. So if you toggle to the global settings, this will be the CSS and JS for the entire app over here. Uh, you can also change from tab view to grid view, um, depending on how you like to work. So if you want to work with just the HTML or just the CSS or just the JavaScript, feel free to do that. You can also view it all in a grid view at once. Um, you can tidy up the code pretty quickly by clicking the tidy code button. And under resources, um, you can view um, any libraries that you want to add. Um, you can also search for our libraries that we've already approved by Fliplet. Uh, but definitely feel free to add your own if you wanted to. If you switch back to tab view, um, you can also view the Fliplet documentation, which will take you to a new tab um, if you want to use any uh, custom endpoints or public API endpoints. So that concludes our basic training. Um, we will definitely go over in more detail the developer options uh, in a later video. Uh, please note that if you change any of the code on the templates, we might not necessarily be able to provide support for it as our original code has been edited. Uh, thanks, and we'll talk to you in the next video series.